Let's take a look at how we can construct a variance covariance matrix using Google Sheets. So what I have here is I have some data, some return data for Amazon, Google, and Tesla. I actually downloaded the price data from Yahoo Finance and um, calculated the returns for each period. So in a variance covariance matrix, along the diagonal, you have the variance terms. The covariance of Amazon with itself is its variance. The covariance with Google with itself is its variance, etc. You also get on the off diagonal terms, you get the covariance. So the covariance between Amazon and Google, the covariance between Amazon and Tesla, and that's a measure of how they move together. Um, you should note that if you use a function, and I'm going to do that shortly, that calculates this table, the, usually you simply get the diagonal terms, which is the variance, and one, either the lower part of the diagonal or the upper part, because the covariance between Google and Amazon is the same as the covariance between Amazon and Google. So this and this would be exactly the same. So usually they don't give you the whole table, they just give you the diagonal and either below the diagonal or above the diagonal. But you can simply copy those numbers over if you need the full table. All right, so let's calculate the, the um, variance for each one of these. So VAR, and we want to use P because it turns out that the covariance function calculates the uh, covariance for the population not the sample. And the difference is, is that for the population calculation, you're dividing by n. And for the, for the sample, you're, um, you're dividing by n minus 1. So let's see if we can do this here. So VARP, and we're going to get Google's variance. And so we want to be consistent. We don't want to have the you know, population variance or the sample variance and the population covariance. We want everything to be the same. And let me get Tesla's numbers here equals VARP. And I'm just going to put those numbers in too. And let me just adjust the um, number of decimal places so it's a little easier to read here. All right, so now we want the covariance between Amazon and Google. And actually, they can you can calculate the population or the sample covariance as well. The COVAR, it's not consistent. This actually calculates the population covariance. So you have to put in each set of data or each set of variables separately, separate, separated by a comma. And it's a little bit tedious, not particularly hard, not a big deal when you're only doing um, three variables here, but it becomes a little more tedious if you have a, um, you know, a, a whole lot more companies in your return data. So again, let me fill this in here. And then I need the covariance between Google and Tesla. Okay, so that's kind of tedious, and if you want to fill in the rest of the table, you could just say equals this, and then just copy it there. I'm not going to bother with that right now. All right, so a little tedious, and again, if you had, you know, 15 or 20 companies here, that would be quite tedious to calculate each one. 
it turns out there's a, a an extension pack in that you can get in Google Sheets. It's called the Statistical Analysis Tools. If you don't have it, you can go to add-ons, get add-ons, and type it in, search it out. And this actually cost me money. You actually had to pay for this. All right, it wasn't a lot of money. I think I paid a dollar fifty for it. They said it was normally ten bucks, but it was on sale for a dollar fifty. It's probably always on sale for a dollar fifty. That's probably the um, anchoring effect. You thinking you're getting a great deal, but probably worth it for a dollar fifty. All right, let's see if let's see if we can use this extension pack and see if we get the same values here. So we know we calculated the um, the population values here. So I'm going to use the analysis pack. I'm going to say covariance and this comes up here. So I'm going to highlight all of these values. This is going to be much easier. And you can highlight the the label, the title here, and it'll put that in for you. And then we're going to put it right here. And we're going to say OK and hopefully we'll get the same values. Let's see here. So again, I'm going to adjust the number of decimal places. So it's consistent and this looks to be exactly the same. So quite a bit easier to have this um, statistical analysis tool pack that you, although you have to pay for it, it's probably worth it if you're doing a fair amount of analysis. It also seems it also includes things like analysis of variance, calculates correlation, some descriptive statistics, does a couple other things. Okay, similar to the data analysis pack in Excel, which um, is just available with Excel. You may have to install it, but um, this is a way you can calculate variance and covariance. You can either do it by hand or you can use that extension pack.